Okay, so this is a component one sketchbook. This is an example of a student who achieved an A star for component one. So I'm gonna go through the sketchbook so you can see how it's laid out and what the work feels like and how she's recorded her development work um, and of course her outcomes as well. Um, and we start off with her essay. So once you've written your essay, we always present that in the front of the sketchbook because it introduces your project. Is postmodernist design just reinterpretation of modernist eras? Well, we're about to find out. So her theme, um, she was looking at all sorts of things to do with her peer group. So she was looking at technology, taboos, mental health, daily life, social media, and there's quite a bit of research that she's done around that. Um, here she's looking at different elements or um, concepts, if you like, within the project. So images that feel melancholy, so it's about a mood, um, exploring ideas about identity, and these are her experiments. So she stitched onto the photographs, she's cut them up and woven different coloured papers into them as well. So she's trying to mask identity. Um, she's looking at the idea of chaos here. So again, layering up lots of colours, things appearing to be see-through, broken down, fragmented, and you can see more deconstructed images on this page as well. These are experiments that the student's undertaken. Here she's looking at negative space. So there are some examples here that she's explored um, from Pinterest, but then she's done her own experiments here as well. Um, and then exploring ideas of collage as well. So this idea that goes all the way up the edge of the page is enabling her to put lots of different experiments within it. So she's starting to think about how can I put these experiments together. Mixed media experiments. So even though the work will ultimately be digital, she's employing some of her mixed media knowledge within that to get interesting backgrounds and so on and make it much more original. So here are experiments that she's done, that she's torn up and put together, um, and she's starting to come up with design ideas over here. So this is David Carson research. We all know quite a bit about David Carson. Um, so she is looking at the idea, again, of fragmentation, what we understand, how we emotionally react with artwork rather than just reading it on the page. And here are some of her digital responses to that. So you'll see that the words are kind of getting lost in the image there. Um, here she's looking at um, something that's more clean. So she's looking at Helvetica and starting to do experiments here. She uses flaps on her pages with screenshots to chart her development. Tracing paper, printing onto tracing paper is a really nice idea. You can layer up images together. Um, she's got a mission statement here where she discusses what her intentions are and what she really wants to do. And again, she's starting to explore this idea of the banner. So she's coming up with very complex ideas, um, lots going on in them. Again, there's layered up here with tracing paper, playing around with transparency. On these pages is a photo shoot, so lots of original imagery that she's together, um, gathered together. And she's also looking at the designers that have inspired her work the most. So she's got Paula Cher, who we've looked at before, April Griman, so lots and lots of shape, neon colors, and Jennifer Mawla. We look at some of that work as well. All of this slicing and multicolored work that goes together. And you can see how that comes through in hers. She then kind of takes a little bit of a diversion and looks a bit at pop art when we're looking at visual metaphors, um, looking at the idea of clamping the tongue. Um, so maybe it's about freedom of speech. And then she goes on to explore that through different color variations as well. So a personal investigation really isn't, you know, linear. You do tend to go on a bit of a weavy, windy road. This looks really interesting where she's starting to put together her photographs, that idea of neon colours. Um, and she's done some really interesting work here that feels a bit pop arty, but it's overlaid onto black and white photos. And here she's starting to kind of put it within a bit more of a sort of fashion, editorial 
um, context. So more neon explorations of colour. Here she sliced up the image, which is something that we do when we look at deconstructing our images, see what new ideas we can come up with. She, she's torn apart her design work and thinking about different ways of putting it back together again as well. Here she's got a kind of seared edge and then layered that up on top, which is really nice. Again, look at the way that she's recording um, her thoughts and her processes. Really nice clear signposting for the examiner. She started to employ some modernist layout techniques looking at geometric shapes, but the shapes are full of very complex imagery. And here she's starting to come up with some proposed final designs. We use Graphics Burger to explore what your designs look like in context. So she's got a billboard and she's got posters on the wall. This is uh, typography, so she's getting rid of all the imagery here and just thinking about how she'd like to use typography in her design work and what that might feel like. And here she's exploring um, how to put those two ideas together. Okay, Really nice recording again, and she's trying that out in lots of different ways. She's going back a little bit to some of those earlier experiments and seeing um, where that takes her with some of these ideas. Here she's using a transparent layer so that it's overlaid over the image and you see it through. More burnt edges. And now she's starting to develop her final um, design ideas. This is really, really beautiful. Again, it seems like a bit of a departure from what she's been doing, um, but it's from an earlier photograph. So it's never too late to, to try new ideas in your project as well. So here we get into the final outcome. So this is all the decision making. You can see that there's a logo down here. So she's looking at young minds. So she's looking at mental health and young people in particular in her designs. So she's got the billboard, she's got large poster. She's got the neon set as well. And this is a theme that's run throughout the whole sketchbook. It's okay to pick up and develop some of your earlier designs into final designs because that's part of your selection process as you come to the end. And she's brought some of that neon colour into this design as well. Very end of the book is the final evaluation. And if you look on the studio walls, you'll see some of that lovely design work printed out really big.